My name is Amanda Jasnowski. Um, I'm a photographer and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Pamplona, Spain, in the northeast, and I lived in a small village called Monreal. And when, I, when we moved to, um, to Ohio at the age of, I think, six or seven, I remember the only reference point I had was The Simpsons. Uh, so it was, kind of, it was pretty surreal, looking back, having that kind of culture shock. Um, I have two brothers, Lucas and Dan, uh, and we're triplets. You know, people would always ask us, do you guys have your own language? Do you, um, are you all very similar? And I was always kind of disappointing to say no. And I think it's just mostly due to the fact that I'm a girl and there are two boys, so we're kind of all in a different, um, on a different plane. The kind of child that I was, probably pretty curious. Um, I think I was easily inspired. And um, I think if you look at my work as a whole, you see, especially the recent work, you'll see lots of just playing with color uh, and color matching and mixing um, and patterns as well. And I think also light always plays um, a big, a big theme in most of my work, um, just sh always shooting natural light and being really fascinated by it. And I want people to know how beautiful people are and just, uh, just the beauty in life. Um, it's such a treat to be here in general. Um, and there's so much beautiful things to see uh, and so much fun to have. And I've been doing collaborations um, in general, but also particularly with Jimmy. And it was my first time uh, really ever collaborating with someone that I was in a relationship with, um, which was really amazing. I think something that I had been waiting for and really wanting for a long time, um, but it was just never there beforehand. The people, um, it's kind of slim pickings in Ohio, that's what they say, um, as far as, as people that I felt I could truly relate to and um, get excited about. But yeah, I had always kind of been waiting uh, for someone to be able to make art with. Um, and then Instagram came along and there came Jimmy. I live um, here in, in Brooklyn and Jimmy lives in Los Angeles. Um, but I don't think we're really, really worried about the distance. Um, it can be, it, it can bring a lot of fear, but um, Jimmy is the one that always said, um, fear is for jerks. Uh, when I moved here, it was very scary and big, and um, I thought to myself, how am I gonna stand out? How am I gonna get jobs? But I just knew that it was either that or to stay unhappy in a small town. Um, and I just couldn't do that anymore. My mom was definitely very, very supportive. Um, and my father, he was very resistant at first. I guess I was kind of a father's girl growing up. Um, so he had, a, he had a much harder time. You know, he would even tell me, uh, you know, try to go back to school, you can be a nurse, just like all the things you don't want to hear. Um, but at one point before I moved, because he knew it was going to happen, whether he wanted it to or not, um, he came into my room and he had uh, a New York Times uh, a newspaper and he laid it down uh, and I, later in I came home and found it and that was kind of like his his way of saying uh, you know you can do it but, um, and you know if I were to tell my mom uh, you know the 22,000 people who are looking at my Instagram feed every day they would just be like they, I don't think they would know how to process it or how to understand it. Because to them, I'm still their daughter and they don't know that there's kind of an internet persona. Um, they have no idea who Hokey Toke is. Um, even I had a job recently where on the call sheet, I was Hokey Toke. Yeah. So everybody there was Hokey Toke this, Hokey Toke that. And the people who hired me are Hokey Toke. <laughs> Just really surreal and funny. The ultimate life I would like to live, uh, I think it's just 
generally speaking, one that I would be proud of. And someday buy my parents a really nice house in Spain where they can retire uh, and fly my siblings out places to see my family. Um, I don't think I'd want to be successful if I couldn't share it with uh, people that I that I cared about.